Oh, hi, Lauren. It's called House Bill 142, otherwise known as the Protect Our Students Act. And if convicted, school staff, they would see their penalties and even their jail times increase. Now, we've reported on a number of cases where teachers or other school staff have been involved with students. But this most recent case involves a now former teacher from Southeast Raleigh Magnet High School. Just hours before now former Southeast Raleigh Magnet High School PE teacher and assistant football coach Almondo Brown faced off against a Wake County judge. What's your name, sir? Almondo Brown. All right, Mr. Brown, you have several charges pending against you. A House committee of state lawmakers met less than a mile away discussing the Protect Our Students Act. Early, this is looking at, at teachers that have uh, poor conduct with students, uh, in most cases sexual nature. Uh, it was a misdemeanor. We've increased that to a felony. The proposal would increase jail time by an average of nine months for people convicted of sexual activity with a student and indecent liberties with a student. In the courtroom today, an attorney for the state recommending the court keep Brown's bond amount at $50,000 due to the allegations. There is evidence of Instagram communications between the victim and this defendant, um, which uh, start basically turned into uh, sexually explicit um, messages. Those messages allegedly involving Brown asking the female student if she's performed or had sexual intercourse. Asking um, about arranging a, a meetup between the two of them. They then create some meeting time and place. Um, which is to be um, after school at his at his place. Principal George Harden Jr. sending a letter to parents saying in part, I can share that the teacher has resigned and he will not be returning to our campus or any other WCPSS school at this time. Our employees are held to the highest standards. The district does not tolerate actions that are not aligned with these standards. Should House Bill 142 pass, it would go into effect for sex crimes committed on or after December 1st of this year. Now, also, lawmakers are crafting language into this bill, which, which would require public school students between 6th grade and 12th grade to watch an age-appropriate video or instruction on sex abuse so they understand the dangers of it and they're aware of it. Armando Brown is due back in court here behind me on April 11th. We're live outside the Wake County Courthouse tonight. Dwan Hogart, Ibis 11, Eyewitness News.